Greetings, it's me, Fire B. And Meiji. And welcome back. Uh, first things first, it's pronounced Talcium. That's, <laughs> I'd, I'd just like, like to let you know that, and that it, you know, comes from an old, like, Greek thing talking about some bird that makes a nest of air in the sea on the winter solstice and causes the wind and clouds and stuff to calm down. And it's also used as a word for, like, a happy time in the past. Anyways, you were saying off screen that there was something about the moon you wanted to mention? Yeah, so if you look closely at it, it appears to have an, a rather sinister, I might add, face on it. Yeah, something you might put, see on a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. It's a very, um... Well, yeah, like I said, sinister was the best word I could come up with to describe the, it. The smile's at least sinister. The eyes, I'm not yes. sure about. Oh, yeah. Well, the only eye that's visible. Yeah. I'm not and sure. the top of it seems rather melty. Yeah, I guess kind of melted. I'm not sure what to make of it, to be honest. It oh. could mean nothing. I mean, just something to note. Also, it's fallen for the old thing of... I'm going to draw a crescent moon and then draw stars behind it. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's not, it's not how the how moon, the moon works. works. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's like the moon in, uh, in Ruby where it's like literally fucking shattered. <laughs> Maybe that is how this moon is. Who knows? The moon in what now? Uh, that show Ruby. Oh. You know, the one uh... with the W. Oh, right. I haven't watched it. Anyway. Uh, huh. You were going to say something yeah, about the um, thing. Between episodes, I was sitting and... I think I was like sitting listening to this like for like 20 minutes or something. I'm not sure. Time's hard to judge. And uh, I've noticed something about the music. Let's wait for the loop to start over. <laughs> but you might have heard like the kind of dinging sounds in it. It almost sounds like a clock chiming. Like three times at different things. To be honest, I think it'd be better with a fourth one, but maybe it's like supposed to be not quite there or something. But also the main kind of wing of the music. Doesn't it feel kind of like the pendulum on our grandfather clock? That it does, actually. Uh, there there's, it is. There's the chime. Yep. There's also some other miscellaneous kind of clicking sounds that could be like hands and ears moving. Yeah, I also heard, you know, like the drum almost sounds like springs tensing up or being yeah. released. But it's like, it's a very a slow thing for music. Like, yeah, the, the pendulum sway is... Hmm about what it should be. Maybe half half the speed that it should be for a second. Or something like that. But the rest of it, it, it makes me think of, like, it's trying to get the impression of, time exists, but it is slowed to the point of not moving. Something. Right, because if you're experiencing, like, one second per hour, it's going to be practically moving not at all for you. Right. And maybe that's why, you know, the, and so the snake would stay asleep, you know, for instance, forever, because, you know, you sleep when it's nighttime. And the moon is currently top on that clock. I mean, for instance, if you're experiencing one second per hour, in 24 hours, half a minute has passed. Mm, less than that, even. But yeah. yeah. So something has... Like, some portion of that clock has jumped out, or been torn out, perhaps. And we'll probably have to find that. But anyways, enough yammering. Last, at the end of last time, uh, we got shocked by something. I don't know what we got shocked by, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe an electric oh. eel. Oh, it's it just a butterfly. 
you freaking out over nothing. I'll be honest. I thought that it was a shock because, like, the door was going to open or something. That is a decent um, conclusion to come to. Because, like, most of the times we have yet, you know, basically, we've yet to come across a painting that can open doors. Mainly because it's, like, the ladies in colors. They can't open doors because, obviously, they can't reach their arms high enough to get to the doorknob. But, uh, that mistake guy... Looked like it had a perfectly functional set of arms and hands, and I would not be surprised to see them stroll out. Just because, you know, they're like, hey, the door's over here. I'm just going to walk through it because I can. Right. Actually but, uh, reach the doorknob. I'm, I'm happy to know that it was just the butterfly. Or maybe it wasn't just the butterfly. In any case, I'm saving. But it appears to have just been the butterfly. Light within the canvas. Eh? You can take this painting off the wall. That's oh. not. I keep expecting there to be to. like other dialogue when I when I don't do so. Clearly I've been playing too much Undertale. Which is Clearly. silly because there's no such thing. <laughs> Obtained the candle painting. I was right, it was a candle. A bright candle painting. With a fiery butterfly on it. Okay. But now we need to go in the dark room. But something tells me it won't be that simple. I don't trust this area at all. Let's be real. I don't think walking far away from it is going to change the fact if it's going to hurt us, it's going to hurt us. Yeah, but let's not make it easier for its ability to aim. The left door was the dark room, yeah? Yes. Cool, I don't want to... Hey, look, the candle painting is giving off light. This is not a lot of light. Not really. I mean, it's pretty much giving off about the light that an actual candle would give off. <laughs> an actual candle would at least have, like, the rest of the area just kind of shadowed. True. Like, it would not be, like, two feet of light and then pitch blackness. True, it would kind of be silhouetted. Like, you would have... You would still be able to see, like, the shape of some things. Very faint stuff. orange glow Yeah, around the entire room. Also, it wouldn't be, like, shining a flashlight top-down onto yourself. Right. Just this yourself. Is, <laughs> this is like walking into a cave in Pokemon when you don't have Flash. That's Except exactly for the fact that this is like. when you do have Flash. This is the worst Pokemon hack I've ever played. <laughs> I don't know. Victory Fire. Victory Fire. But at least that, you know, you use Flash and you can see things. Also, I want to point out that they did their best to darken out. Actually, I wonder if that was purposeful or not whether they tried to or tried not to cover up the our health meter in the corner. It's still mm. just barely visible. Like, I'd have to go by the number on it, probably. Yeah. Also, I want to point out, it's probably, that you know, completely dark for the simple fact that they could probably have added, you know, lighting the way a candle would actually light up. Except it's more ominous this way. Well, yes. Who knows how, but we can see a little bit ahead of us, at least. You're not freaking kidding when uh, you say I a mean, little bit. Yes, a little bit ahead of us, but... I think that's literally like... A little bit behind us, too. to ten-ish pixels above Eve's head. And a little more below her um... feet. Yeah, four to five, I think. Like, it centers on probably the point, like, about her hand level. You know, mid-body holding the painting. Mm -hmm. Or something. Let's be careful. So, does everything start attacking me now or later? Both. Now and later. Also, it's silent in here. That's a candy. 
now and later. I don't know whether this is a good or a bad thing. It could really go either way with this game, let's be honest. Oh god. Imagine if that mistake guy enters the door. Oh jeez. That would be awful. Friend, is this a maze? It's a canvas. A violet number is painted on the canvas. Nine. Oh no. Oh no. No. I literally just watched the video in which like the math fucking confused the shit out of me. No. Our worst enemy. The math equations. Alright. Purple That's nine. The most terrifying part of Ebe. I don't, I don't know. No, nope. was... not purple. Violet. I know this is a game about art and thus colors are important, but no. <laughs> a green number is painted onto the canvas. I hope you're keeping track of these. I am. Good. One. Well, if it's no. a multiplication by one, then we're good. And if it's <laughs> then we're by golden. One, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, purple nine, green one. Oh, well, at least emerald one. I'm just green. It said green. <laughs> I know. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I don't like how maze like this is, but thankfully we don't seem to be chased by anything yet. Yeah. Maybe once it gets lit up, we will be chased by something. I'm okay as long as I can see. A blue number is painted on the canvas. Two. Still Purple nine, pretty good. Green one, blue two. Prelude to wine. Hmm. So, grapes? <laughs> you, uh, you can't see it very well in the dark. Do you want to hold up the candle? Sure. You know, you fucking called it. Well, I mean, wine. there's nothing else that makes wine outside of grapes. Grapes are literally the only thing that you make wine out of. <laughs> grapes are perhaps best known for making wine, yes. Well, I don't know. I know them better for making raisins. Well, I mean... Those are was, the two was there a point most, to that? Those are the two most known things that wine is... I mean, grapes are used for. Wine... And raisins. Well, also grapes on their own. Well, I mean, you don't so, make... Uh, friend, you don't make grapes out of grapes. Yeah, you do. You make wine out of grapes, and you make raisins out of grapes. You also make more grapes with grapes. You just kind of have to plant the seeds. All right, then. <laughs> so, I'm going to see you, I'm going to punch you in wait. the face. <laughs> <laughs> Say that to my face, not online. See what happens. <laughs> so, we look up at this painting of grapes. It's above Eve's head. And I can see that the bottom part trudes from the painting. Yes, it does. But that's it. That's so, clearly, it. there's another thing that we have to do. Yes. Maybe prelude to grapes? Ah, oh, what's that? I don't want to deal cat? with it yet. To be quite honest. Whip. An orange number is painted on the canvas. Eight. Purple nine... Green I got one, it. a blue two, an orange eight. I'm I'm testing my ability to actually remember things. Orange, you glad I ate the banana? Fuck you. <laughs> a red number is painted on the canvas. Suddenly, I'm not feeling so confident about this math. Seven. Is that... That red? That That's... red? That doesn't look red to me. That looks pink. 
I can't really tell. Like, that is an awfully light red for being red. It's just so thin. It's one pixel thin. Yeah, it's, it's literally it's one pixel. All right, so... Purple 9, green 1, blue 2, orange 6, orange red 7, eight. orange 8. I knew it was an even number. Orange 8, red 7. I'm losing my ability to hold, to keep a grasp on these numbers. I have all the numbers memorized and their colors. You have them written down. No, I really, I don't. I just have them remembered in my brain. Pair your hashtags, blame Meiji. <laughs> Malice's true form. I don't want to look at this yet. Let's not look at it. That does not seem like something I want to know. And a yellow number. Yellow numbers painted on the canvas. Three. Was there a four in there anywhere? No. It was just, I guess, six. There was no six in there, was there? Violet nine, blue two, green one, orange eight, red seven, yellow three. Nine, eight, seven, and a one, two, three. Hmm. Maybe there's a four and five? Maybe. Alarm for the clock. We could look at that, I think. Let's not. Actually. What a wimp. That's a cat. Oh. Fuck. You fucked up. I didn't actually want to do things. Didn't give you a choice. No, I, I didn't even select it. I walked by it. Yeah. Here, you really need to stop, like, shrieking. <laughs> My word. Are you okay, Eep? Gary's <laughs> scream was scarier. <laughs> I I mean <laughs> it's pretty funny. What? Not that funny, but it's kinda funny. I kind of want to say it. I just want to see what he says. We're doing it. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help screaming if I'm surprised. Rather, you're very good about not screaming at anything. Well, Eep doesn't really say much. Eep doesn't react, like, at all to anything. Well, I mean, she does. she has backed away from things. True. And there's been a couple situations where I think she's ran on her own. She also slapped the shit out of Gary. That is also a very true statement. She did indeed do that. <laughs> and then she hugged him. So there was yes. that. Ah, whatever. Let's proceed. <laughs> Shattered fragments of something. I don't think we can pass over that spot now. You're right, we can't. Which gives me a bad feeling. Well... Let's, let's tally up what we have in this room. We have six numbers that are color-coded. I do hope that you still have them in mind, because... I do. I'm not going to be able to pull them up if pressured on them. <laughs> We have three paintings in the room. One that is of grapes. Violet one that nine. is talking about a, an alarm clock. And one that is like essence of evil's malice or something. Something about malice. Which I didn't look at the last two because I worried that if I looked at the alarm clock one, it would go off. And that would be bad news. I think you overthink these things a little. Maybe. But I also didn't want to look at the 
thing about malice in case it started chasing us. Well, you gotta look at something, bruh. I will have to, yes. That is indeed true. But I want to try to at least look at, you know, kind of go through the room and look at the things that I'm pretty sure won't trigger things beforehand. Alarm for the clock. Hold up the candle. There's a switch. <sighs> I don't know. Don't do it yet. Let's go look at the other painting first. Malice's true form. The fuck was that? I don't even know. I... I'll be honest, I didn't get a good look at it. I didn't either. But the it Gary extended... doesn't seem to be very happy about it. It extended past the painting. The frame, at least. But... It looked like... An organ? Maybe? I'm or not like really sure. There a was raw an piece of it. steak or something? <laughs> Sounds yummy. Uh, I, I prefer my steak cooked at least a little bit. Well, I mean, you gotta cook it first. I mean, it starts out raw, though, so... Yeah. This one seems so raw that the cow wouldn't want it back. <laughs> I think that may have actually scared Gary a bit. Yeah. So, uh, what's the betting on it jumping out at us when we walk away? Um, I say I give it about a 20% chance. Also, it's something I'm noticing. At the very, very, very top of the thing of light here, you can see one pixel of just bright red. Nope. I cannot. I, I can. I see. It's like the the very bottom pixel of the thing of Malice's true form. But I wouldn't have noticed had I not seen it coming back down. Yeah, but I can't see the red there. Oh, no. I'm running. Flip the switch. Also... That was a very... Like, did you hear that thump? Mm -mm. When it fell down? Or came down? No, I didn't. Well, it was certainly a thing. All the way in the left ear. Did it do anything? Switch! A flipped switch. Perhaps we weren't supposed to look at the Malice's true form. Maybe we weren't. It's very possible that we weren't. I think we saved so we could just probably load. I don't know. Why were all the numbers in here? I don't even know. Maybe to throw us off? There hasn't been one of that kind of puzzle before. Where you have a whole bunch of extraneous information. True. Except for all of the, the dolls. Grapes. Yeah. You want me to check on them again? I mean, that's the only other thing I could think of. I'll be honest, I don't feel safe now that I know that the, you know, Malice's true form is in this room. True. Like, not hidden behind a painting. Yeah. Like, to be honest... I, I think I want to just run out of the room. <laughs> well, you maybe can try back. that. But what if we get out of the room and we have to come back? Then we have to come back. Oh, hey. Oh. Truant Seconds Hand. There's a panel below to input a number. Hmm. 
none of these are actually colored. No. And there's only five. That's true. Which tells me there's an equation somewhere. Nothing happens. But yeah, I don't fucking say. I'm gonna go save. In the other slot, I hope. You want a new slot for this? Yeah. Alrighty, we can handle that. Just in case the malice thing comes back to bite us in the ass. Well, we'd have to redo the whole butterfly bit, but yeah. You wanted me oh. to look at the grapes? I thought you saved after we got out of the butterfly bit. Oh yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. I guess look at the grapes. That's the only other thing I can think of. And we've saved, so if something happens, we're good. Get to the grapes. They lead to... Nothing. Hmm. Huh. Do I have to go look at the thing of Malice's true form? Well, I mean, it can't hurt. Yes, it can. Well, I mean, we have the safe scum now, so... Rue. I wonder if it... If there isn't that sound and thump. If you don't... Cause that to fall. There has to be a reason for no light in here. There has to be. Like, there has to be something incredibly horrifying. Or there's a big picture that we don't see. That we get to see later, maybe? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. It's gone! Yep. Where did that thing go? Red thing. Yep, it's gone. Gone, gone. We have to play hide and I don't like dots? this. You want to leave? We can leave. Oh, <laughs> wait. Where's the, where's the exit place? We can... Where the fuck's the exit? Is the... Is it... There it is. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, is the door fucking gone? Turn it up. So, I don't know, man. Let me save here. As far as I know, there's. I think there's only one more thing that we can do. Being. Hold the snake's tail. That is... Because that'll open this way up. I'm not sure what the point of it would be, but clearly there is some purpose. Oh, well, let's try it. Oh, oh fuck. no. I told you. What did I tell you? I told you it could open doors. You were right. Hey, guy, o over here, please. Thankfully, it does not seem to really be able to follow me much. Because its face is scratched out. Right, it can't see, it can't sense. Except it never encounters an eraser. <laughs> I'm sure it can do damage to me, but I'm I don't know if it can attack me sure if I'm just, like, can. next to it. Come over here, it guy. Might... Are you kidding me? Come on, quit playing The random chicken, movement go. is almost worse than because chasing after me because I can game ra I can game like chasing after me. Random movement I have no clue what to do about. Quit being chicken and just do it. Wait. 
Wait, what did this say? To paintings, my heart. To creations. Also, Mistake did actually jump out the glass. Yes, it broke the glass. Um, I wonder if he can actually come back in here. Well, there's a key there, I would presume so. <sighs> like, on his own while I'm standing here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it'll kill the mistake. There's text, lucky. There's text Should, though. What if it wakes up? Oh. Huh. I see. A huge snake. Can't get we're by here. We're not pulling here, it maliciously. But... We're actually pulling it back through. Yeah. Um, we can't. A huge tail. Here's a huge snake. Here's a huge tail. <laughs> nice little touch, actually. So... Isn't a snake just a head with a tail? Technically. <laughs> Somehow we have to go over and talk with the ant guy. And I bet we get the key that way. But uh, I suppose we go see what happens with the snake snake might be you know it's not awake hello giant sleeping snake how sleepy is this snake how as sleepy as you are <laughs> well it hasn't bitten no. us and also mistake is not there because it's asleep where is where is the mistake it's talking to me right now Sick burn. <laughs> I love how you just stop talking. No, I'm I'm thinking right now. Oh. So take inventory of the area. We have six color coded numbers. Uh huh. We have a painting that creates light. We have a sleeping snake that protrudes from a thing. We have a clock that does not quite function that wants a five digit number. And we have something wandering around that is a person but with their face scratched out. There's also a key in a place that we can't get to. Wasn't the painting labeled Truant Second Hand? Yes. Which means the second hand has gone AWOL. Or it's just slow. You know, not there. Yeah, it probably True. is just not there. However, what would that key unlock? Probably the door behind the... Oh, okay. Behind the flowers. Is my thought. Maybe. However, how do you get past the flowers to begin with? I'm sure we'll find that out later. Maybe. But the question is, what do we do now? I don't know. Search the dark room? We've already searched through there. I couldn't tell you. Maybe we go look through that side room again. Go check the anthill painting again. Mm -hmm. We could. Uh, whichever we choose to do, I think we'll have to do that next time here on Let's Play Eve. So come back next time to see us hopefully resolve our confusion and figure out what's going on next. So keep an eye out for that coming soon. And until then, farewell. See you guys next time.